different opportunities and excitement waiting for you out there if you can um, follow your the, the simple to science. We've had science days now for five years very successfully. Uh, Daryl Richardson in, in Aflo, South Peninsula High, in Deep River, Spine Road High, in Mitchell's Plain, Harry Guala last year in Kailicha, and now Kensington High. I'm confident that the activities today are going to be as successful as they have been in previous years. The uh, workshops and activities which you see here today are offered by 10 of our 13 departments in the Faculty of Science at UCT. The, uh, the participants are largely students from our individual departments and a number of staff members. And I'd like to take the opportunity just to thank them all on behalf of the science faculty for giving up your Saturday morning to come down and to show what interests you so much. On a more technical note, our BSc degree, if you should come to the University of Cape Town, is highly regarded the world over. If you make a decision, which I hope many of you will do, to come to UCT when you finish school, you will obtain a degree that will allow you to be employed in a range of interesting careers around the world. And I said, how do you make folks at the University? And I said, but please, you're going to see a very distinguished audience here this morning. Don't you give them the recipe? Because if you do, they will make a cup of home and then you can't sell it. They only have one machine, this is it, and they make the Sprite, Fanta, and Coke in a one machine. You'll see on the bottom it says here, they follow the Coca Cola company. Right, I'm going to put the mic down, I'll demonstrate. I'll pour these chemicals into my machine and I want you to see what happens. I pour the first chemical in. And the second. And the third. And you realize that they're making Sprite early in the morning. They make Sprite. At 10 o'clock, they make Fanta. Okay. And then at 12 o'clock, when they've got enough Fanta, then they switch over and they make Fanta. skeleton so you grow into your into your skin and you get bigger as you get older this guy he has to get a he has to lose this occasionally so he loses this and he looks like this okay there's his outside skeleton okay science seems as a normal thought it seems very boring and chemical and physical and biology like stuff it's it's it's, yeah, it seems boring when you're in class, but when you see what it's all about, like in in front of you and upright and stuff like that, it, 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 it gives you a better view. You know, I have a lot of questions, as you can see now. I have a lot of questions, and now I'm discovering a lot of new things, man. It's, it's really, it's just, it's very informative, and it helps you to decide which career to go into and what your interests lie in. And Yes. <laughs> and now, I'm 
bring them in your spirit. Now that you it's like really valuable because we're seeing it, we are like uh, non, how can I say, we like not actually less force, but don't like actually get opportunities, yeah, yeah, opportunities to do such stuff. So it's like actually a big opportunity though. What I think about UCT is they like actually like one of the best in like, in, I wouldn't say the whole entire world, but like we are say they like the best. So one day soon, maybe, probably like in a few years time, I would like to go there. I wanted to study in something in physics, but then I like found out that I wanted to be like do something in the air. Like I love the sky and things, so it's mostly piloting or astronomy. So it's like it practical or theory. I think it gave me a more insight because as children we usually don't understand uh, what we want to be at this point in our life. So it gives you like it makes you informed and it gives you a sense of confidence to go into the work field. I always wanted to go to UCT, so I feel it's like very privileged to have them here and inform us about how to get in and what studies they offer. But we don't go totally clueless to university. This a rock that contains diamonds. This is what we call an eclogite. And from an eclogite we get diamonds. They come from... So that's what a diamond looks like when it's actually in the earth. So to get that mineral, we've taken this rock and we've ground it to these minerals. We've washed them, we've cleaned them, and we just literally stuck them here. This is actually Andrew's honors project. Because I learned different things today, and I learned more about uh, studying geography and stuff, where they found the, the diamonds in the stones, and I got a few and stuff. <laughs> So there are other fluids that do the opposite. So with this thing, it gets more viscous the harder you try to move it. But like your blood, it uh, when it's moving, it flows very fle freely. But then when it stops, it gets kind of like a solid. Same thing with um, tomato sauce, tomato sauce, right? So when you when you open up your tomato sauce, you flip it upside down, it doesn't go anywhere. So you have to shake it, and then it pops out like a liquid. Cause it's a sheer thinning fluid. So this is a sheer thickening fluid. It's the opposite. Right, so when you when you this don't have flour? maize flour, maizena and water, and water. I don't care, I don't care. Yeah, make it help. Here's a here's a thing, and we've been working in in the physics department. Sure. We can we can make this thing listen to instructions. <laughs> <laughs> tell it to go down. No, no, but you must like tell it. Go down. Want to come up? Squeeze the bottle. Oh, you must squeeze. Oh, let it go. Don't press it. 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 Don't and there's an indicator here to show when a redox reaction happens. You've done redox, right? And the redox is an oxidation of the glucose. And when you shake it, the base helps catalyze this reaction and causes your glucose to go undergo oxidation. And in that oxidized form, with the indicator, it turns the solution blue. So when you shake it, and this is allowing the oxygen that was in the vessel to mix all throughout the water. And so when the oxygen comes into contact with the glucose, it turns it blue. And then over time, you can see the bubbles all rising out. As the bubbles start rising, you'll see from the bottom, it starts becoming clear until the entire solution is clear again. You're actually getting more complex. That's why we showed both sides. Now that you have